Hello there. I'm Robert. I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party. And winter is here. Finally! We've been waiting for this winter to show up for many, many years. But yes, it will be the last winter to fall on... Winterfell. Winterfell. Ah, it's going to be a hell of a ending, hopefully. A climactic battle, and we have seen finales for certain epic TV shows not go so according to plan, just in terms of they have a different way they want to approach it, which usually leaves everyone divided in how they desired? accepted it. Yeah, a little bit. Sopranos, I'm talking to you. But, True, but. hopefully, yeah, uh, every loss. Everything doesn't always end the way we expect it to, and I'm feeling like Game of Thrones is going to obviously go that same way. However, we haven't really seen anything from this season, so they came out with a trailer that I'm assuming is going to show us a little bit more than just the characters. Yes. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing where we left off. I mean, there right. was a lot to be there too. We got some revelations in the last season as well, so hopefully everything comes full circle and I want to know. Finally, all of the Starks are sort of together, uh, essentially, and now they're trying to fight a force that has been there since season one that we haven't really gotten to know a whole lot, and now they're coming full force in this season, so it's going to be interesting. So let's take a look at the latest trailer for Game of Thrones Season 8. Now. I know Dad. He's got many faces. I look forward to seeing this one. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Everything you did brought you where you are now. This. Where you belong. Building up. They're coming. Dragons. Our enemy doesn't tire. Doesn't stop. Nope. Doesn't feel. Gotta get some men before you go. <laughs> I intend to keep that promise. Double dragons. There he is. What's gonna happen? Ah, I love that they're all together. Facing winter head on. I love it. Man, but there's so much to be said for Cersei just kind of hanging back, watching this all go down up in the north. Uh, and it's really up to them whether or not that they're going to kind of protect the throne, I guess. Because it's technically just protecting everybody by taking them on. But at the same time, you are kind of protecting Cersei. You're doing Cersei's bidding by protecting everything up north, keeping it from coming down, and then eventually that battle, they're going to have to go after Cersei and try and take back the throne. That's what I'm kind of thinking, that, that the season is going to kind of bring full force, is that like half of it is going to be the White Walkers and all right. of that, and then the other half, is, I mean, it's going to be very quick. Right, yeah. So, and then go after the... So it's, it's going to be interesting how the stories are going to be laid out and how this, this, uh, new, this last season is going to be. But one thing's for sure, it's definitely... I feel like it might be too quick, possibly, but I guess we'll wait until we see Game of Thrones when it comes out. I mean, they did end up taking their time by pushing it out a little bit more to be able to give us cinematic level episodes leading to the final finale. You know what it kind of reminds me of? What? So this is going to be a weird thing, but like the way how like they started off slow and then they kind of go faster at the end. It's kind of like how uh, when I used to write my last name in like a small space, I'm like, okay, I got time and I'll write out my like 
couple first letters of my last name and then finally I get to the end I'm like oh no I don't have enough paper <laughs> and I'm yeah. like trying really fast to get it there that's exactly what it that's like what reminds happens, me that's what happens though that's what happens in movies and shows like commissioner where, yeah you know, commissioner like, <laughs> a little Mick Foley yeah. Uh, yeah that happens in shows though too where it's like ah oh, crap you're like wait we're in the final episode and we still haven't wrapped it up and then it's like oh and by the way they all died yeah like, so it's seriously? So yes, please, due diligence, please give it what it needs to be, or give us a, a, a finality, give us a story ending when it comes to this, don't just leave things hanging, um, and, and not for the sake of art, like, I was watching this whole thing about uh, The Sopranos, talking about the finale of The Sopranos, and like, Damon Lindelof, and a bunch of other showrunners, are like, it was brilliant the way they ended Sopranos, it's like, oh, it's so creative and artsy, it's like, sure, I get it, but come on, give us an ending. Give us, like, you tell us what's going on. Sure, you can have a little bit of, like, oh, we don't know what happened to this person. But the whole show, like, the, the main character, like, well, it's up to you guys what happened. No, I don't want to choose your own adventure. Show me what happened. Yeah. Ned Stark got his head chopped off in season one. So please let someone lose their head from the main cast. Uh, more than likely, it's going to be Lena Headey. So we will find out who's going to end up losing their heads this season. Uh, anyway, we are going to do reactions to episodes of Game of Thrones as well for the first time on our channel. So be on the lookout for that. But either way, I'm excited for it. Uh, and we can't wait to finally see Game of Thrones. Thank you so much for watching my reaction to the new trailer for the final season of Game of Thrones. What did you guys think of it? Let us know in the comments below. Also tell us who do you think is going to survive. Give us your three that are going to make it all the way to the end and maybe who's going to end up taking the throne after it's all said and done. But either way, thank you guys. You can like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Star Wars. All the Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> Not yet. Star does. I don't know why that came Kick out. into the party, fill the party, keep the party going on our Patreon. Get to where we need to go. Thank you guys so much. Check out the filming locations video we did for Tombstone, 1993's Western, filmed here in Tucson, Arizona. Check that out, available on our channel now. Also check out the reaction that we did for the trailer for Tombstone, available from our Better Late Than Never series on this channel. So thank you guys so much, and as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye.